Ho! 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 Uh, there is a commitment to making reconciliation work, uh, to achieving prosperity for everybody in this community. We've had our challenges, but today we're turning the page and we're yeah, moving forward together. You know, uh, our elders, our old people, who are now ancestors, would be immensely pleased with the kind of development that's the taking place. The flag placement is a notable occasion as we continue to work towards reconciliation and shared goals. As some of you may recall, the protocol agreement renewal took place in May of 2019, establishing a respectful government-to-government -government relationship. Seeing the flag returned and placed prominently at City Hall is a significant step for all involved. And we're honored to have the ability to be here to partake in this special ceremony today. There's much to be done in terms of looking at how do we collaborate, how do we cooperate, what is the nature of um, economic development and how is that going to affect the children, the grandchildren uh, as we move along? First of all, I want to thank my Shwamnik for blessing our day moving forward. Hi, Jay, with you. Stenabok is working hard to change the story of history with Canada, British Columbia, and Nanaimo. To recognize and respect for Stenabok people and our way of life. While we've had working relationships with the city of Nanaimo in the last couple of decades in the most recent years action was taken to remove the Nanaimo flag from Nanaimo from City Hall. This signaled a challenging time between us and the people of Nanaimo and a time when communication purpose and recognition of Nanaimo people was not at the forefront of all the work that was underway at that time. Over the last two years, the Nanaimo Chief and Council and the Nanaimo Mayor and Council paused to reflect, to talk about the challenges that we have been through and the future that is ahead of us. More importantly, how can we change the way that we engage and work together for the betterment of our children, grandchildren, and everyone in this region, including those yet unborn? Fundamental to a meaningful relationship with Nanaimo is respect for one another. And to be respectful is to honor, acknowledge, and recognize the Sarlikat Treaty here in Nanaimo. It is a journey to get to this relationship in balance with that and that there will be much work to be done. But since renewing our relationship with and an Imo Mayor and Council last summer. That is a meaningful commitment between us that we will respect one another and work together so that everyone may live harmoniously and prosper in this region. Today we raise the flag here at City Hall. It is a symbol of our relationship with Nanaimo and it is another step towards reconciliation and recognition of Nanaimo and our treaty in this area. To clearly state that this is the Nanaimo territory and we're here to stay. We're very excited moving forward with the city of Nanaimo, the mayor, and his council. We've um, come a long ways. And I am I'm very hopeful. But as I said to the chief earlier today, and, and I think he agrees with me, the expectations are likewise high. Uh, we have been given great opportunity, and much is expected of us. Uh, again, welcome everyone, and. Uh, I don't know how the rest of you feel, but uh, for me, this is a, a pretty moving and I would say very familiar kind of ceremony. 
The history of colonization in this country is complex, and I'm not going to offer any dissertations on it. I think we all know both the good and the bad, and the damage that was done. But as I gather here today amongst all of you, so many people of goodwill, leaders in our community, with the representatives of the Sinemic First Nation, I am confident that the wonderful words of Chief Wise this morning will indeed come to pass. That we have every opportunity to effect reconciliation in this community in a way that will set an example for everyone in British Columbia, if not this country. I, I want to use a quote, and this is, a, this is Donna Stennis's line. She said, the flag raising is about reconciliation, which is trust, respect, feelings, tolerance, understanding, acceptance, and forgiveness. And I'm reminded of the incredible history of this wonderful town and how we have been given such a wonderful opportunity with the election of our respective councils to restore the flag to its rightful position above us at City Hall and to put into effect what everyone really desires, and that is reconciliation. As Chief Wise's mother wisely once said, none of us are going anywhere. We're all here, and we're going to make this work.